Hi, I'm John Milius. Uh, I'm a screenwriter and director and a gun fanatic. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Dirty Harry's 44 Magnum. Why a 44 Magnum? Well, we all know, that, as Harry says. This is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. Of course, that's probably not true. It probably wasn't even true at the time, but it seemed like a good idea to me. And beside the fact that I owned a 44 Magnum, and so I wrote it into the script and, you know, made up a lot of stuff about it because it seemed like a good idea. But the 44 Magnum and the idea of using the 44 Magnum was to have somebody actually be very careful about the shooting that he did. Instead of shooting a lot of shots, he shot one very powerful shot, and that was usually to telling effect. The original idea was to have a 4-inch 44 Magnum Model 29, but we couldn't get enough 4-inch 44. They were very hard to find those guns at the time. They were not terribly popular. And so to get them, we had to get the 6-inch model. And of course, Clint Eastwood is probably the only person in the world who can wear, because he's so tall and lanky, he can wear a 6-inch 44 Magnum and have it not show. However, that isn't exactly what happened either, because only the times when he has to bring it out was it actually there. The rest of the time, the holster is empty. You know, the other thing with the 44 Magnum, having the six inch turned out very good because it's bigger and it's longer and it kind of looks neat. And it's become kind of the classic thing. We always think of a 44 Magnum that way now. The gun that's in the museum was given to me by Warner Brothers after doing the first Dirty Harry movie and then the second one, Magnum Force. It's another one of the great stories on display every day at the National Firearms Museum.